Okay, we're here today with Daniel, who has got a unstable AC joint problem. Now, um, with these sort of injuries, um, what we're dealing with is an unstable AC joint. So he's been a bit of a volleyballer. He's done uh, baseball in the past. He's done volleyball. He's done a lot of tennis, a lot of overhead sports. And what that means is he has uh, used up that AC joint. He's actually made that AC joint quite unstable. And now that he's into surfing and a bit of jiu-jitsu, he is actually having trouble pressing and pushing off the board. So in the gym, he has trouble bench pressing because he's got an unstable AC joint. And what happens is, if you look at this, the he's compensating quite a bit with his rhomboids. He's really tightening up in the back of his posterior shoulder here. So his rotator cuff, the posterior part here, because of this, this unstable AC joint problem here. So where that, where the clavicle okay connects to the shoulder go okay, to the scapula here he's it's just too loose here he's just it's just worked and worked and worked this over the long period of time so whenever you bench press or you press forward so if you go into this press forward position whenever he's going to press forward in this position like a bench press or he's going to push up off the board if you're not very stable through here it's going to shear through here and it's going to start causing some clunking and some problems it's just going to generally make that whole joint unstable so when he presses forward, if this shifts through here, he's going to start compensating. And what happens is the body then tightens up through the shoulder, he starts getting pain in the shoulder, he can't, he's losing power through the joint, he can't press properly. And he also then has to, because this shuts down through here, he's losing some strength through here, he has to start compensating through his other muscles of the shoulder blade. And you'll see this when we raise your arm. So, Dan, if you just um, raise both arms, you can see, just hold it there for me. Can you see he's got really good definition through his rhomboids here? Can you see this right shoulder here? And he's right-handed, so this left shoulder is looking great. His right, can you see this, is sitting up a little bit. So he's, he's, he's already preloading up into here. His body's all ready to go as far as um, trying to compensate with that shoulder. But if you just slowly raise your arm up for me, Daniel, both sides, he goes all the way. And you'll notice when he comes down, just come down, he's not moving perfectly on that right. Can you see it? when he came down, his shoulder blade sort of just went down too quickly. So he lost a little bit of, the, of that eccentric scapular control there. So Daniel, do that again for me. So slowly going up all the way. You'll notice that right shoulder doesn't adduct well enough. And when it comes down, it comes down far too quickly. See it moving really quickly there? There it is there. And he's trying to escape away from a bit of pain and stability. And you'll hear a little clunk in here. We're going to get the camera right on here. Let's see if we can hear this. There. I don't know if you heard that, but that, what he had was a bit of a clunk through his AC joint. And we'll see that instability in a moment. So if you come over here, Daniel, let's get you up on, get you up on the bed there. Face down? Yep, face down. Let's have a look at this. So his left shoulder, his AC joint, if you look at this, I can move his clavicle a little bit, so I can just get in there. It doesn't move too much, which is good. It's nice and solid through there. That's what you want. Okay. This one here, which is his right one, if you notice, see I can move that up and down far too much. So. His AC joint, that ligament between his clavicle and his scapula is not very stable, it's not very taut, doesn't give him much stability, and that means he ends up with a type of instability in the shoulder. It's not in the shoulder joint, so his shoulder joint's fine, he hasn't dislocated that, but it's the scapular instability he's got. And he's learned to compensate. What we're trying to do is actually get him to decompensate here, so loosen off through here and stop using this so much, start switching on all his scapular muscles. So he's going to be working on quite a few things to deal with scapular control. Um, have a jump up Daniel for me to try and work on that. If you just take the camera there. So he's going to be, if you imagine when he, when he presses forward like that, so if he's doing a bench press which he doesn't like or if he's doing a, a push up off the board, he needs that stability through his AC joint. Okay, so he needs that control through there. If he doesn't have it, he's actually got to compensate. So what we've got to try and do is build up all his scapular protractors, retractors that stabilize him when he's pushing forward. Okay, mostly the protractors. So here we're doing a lot of wall press exercises. He's going to be doing a lot of work where 
He's learning how to press forward properly without compensating. He's learning how to pull back correctly. So doing a lot of one arm row work, one arm pull down work where he's working on his lower traps. He's doing a lot of external rotation up in different angles where he's going to be coming out of the water surfing like that. So he needs to be able to get up in here, get that shoulder blade set back, get all those muscles in the back there as external rotators firing up. So we'll be doing a lot of work strengthening here, external up and there. All these positions that he's going to need when he goes surfing, when he does jujitsu stuff, um, to build him up enough so he can go back doing gym work that he wants to do. All right, so that's very important that we work on rotator cuff, scapular control work to try to stabilize that shoulder and improve what's going on with his AC joint.